In this video, I'm going to show you the fast and easy way to create a mobile website using webstarts.ai. To get started, go to webstarts.ai on your mobile device. Next, tap Get Started. It's free. In the first step, you can choose to either connect your Facebook account, and if you choose that method, then WebStarts AI will use Facebook data associated with a Facebook page to create your site. But for this demo, I'm going to skip this step. Next, choose whether you'd like to create this website for yourself or an organization. I'm going to be creating it for an organization, so I'm going to type in my company name. When you're ready, tap continue. Notice that you can skip any of these steps. You can always come back and customize this website later, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to continue on and upload some photos. So I'm gonna browse some photos from my local phone here. Find some photos on my local phone from my photo library. For this demonstration, I'm going to browse my photo library for some photos that I'm going to use to create my website. So I go ahead and choose a few photos and then tap done. Notice that those photos are uploaded and then tap continue. Next, you can choose to enter in a phone number for your organization. I'm just going to skip that step since a phone number isn't relevant for what I'm doing. And then lastly, I'm going to choose a category. I'm just going to say this is a business website. And then you take a look at the mobile preview that you've created of your website. If you're happy with this look, you can tap continue. If you want to see a few different layouts, you can tap remix. Each time you tap remix, you'll get a different layout. So there you can see what that layout looks like. Here's another one. Still another. And then you can Tap that about five or six times until it gets back to the original layout. I'm going to choose that layout by tapping continue. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and sign up. So I just enter my name and my email address along with my password. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that I am not a robot. And tap sign up. Okay, now that my website's been created, I can choose to view my site. I can edit my site. I can add a domain name or I can share it. So I'm going to show you what it's like to edit that site on a mobile device. I tap edit site and that will bring up the mobile editor. And in the mobile editor, you'd navigate from page to page by tapping on the navigation menu. And then you can edit the text by tapping on it and then tapping edit text. And then you can do things like swap out images by tapping on them and then tapping change image and then you can either choose to upload images from your local device or find them in the search library or get them from Facebook. But for example, I'm going to choose one that I've already uploaded. So if I want to change this content, all I need to do is just tap in there, tap edit text, and then I can go in here and I can edit the text. When you're ready to save, just tap save and then your changes are saved and published. And then also you can edit this from your desktop computer. 
and use the full Web Starts editor. So let me show you what that looks like. To edit the website you just created on your mobile phone on your desktop, what you'll need to do is go to webstarts.com, click login, and then log in with the credentials that you used when you created the website on your mobile device. So I'm just going to use the email address and password that I used on my mobile phone moments ago to log in. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me access to the full Web Starts page editor. So I clicked on edit site and now I can drag and drop anything where I want it to appear on my mobile site. And I can see what that looks like by toggling to the mobile version. So for example, if I want to edit the photos in that slideshow, I can double click on the slideshow and then I can choose to upload photos from my local computer or I can choose them from my file manager. So I'm just going to choose these ones of these kids. And I'm going to click Save. And if I want to change anything else about this page, I can do that. So for example, if I want to change the color of that button, I just click on the button and then I choose the color I want to make the button. And then if you want to add more content to your page or another page to your website, you can click File and then New Page to create a new page. Or let's say, for example, you want to add some content to the About page, you can double click inside the text box and then just start typing. Text boxes can be dragged wherever you want them to appear on the page. And then if you wanted to add an image, you could do that by clicking Add Image. And then once again, you could choose one of the images from the file manager or search the photo library or connect your Facebook account. Now when you add content to your page, it's not going to display in the mobile version of your site unless you enable it. So click on the mobile version, toggle over to that. Then click on hidden and you'll see the new content that you created. Click the little eye icon to the right of the content and it will appear in the mobile version of your site. So that's how you create that layout. And so each time you add either text or an image or any other element to your page in the desktop version, you'll need to toggle over to this mobile version, click on hidden and then add that. And it works like that because you need to specify which things are in which order specifically for the mobile version. For example, it may help to have a button in the mobile version be front and center that's big enough to tap on. So let me show you like, for example, what that would look like. Maybe you add a button, drag it down here, click on the mobile version, click to make the button viewable, and then I wanna make this button easy to tap on a mobile device, so I'm going to make it a little bit larger than it would appear on the desktop. Then I can save my changes. Another thing that you can do in the mobile editor is reorder your page layout. You can do that by clicking on the hidden icon and then click reorder page layout. What that does is it tries to find an order to all of the elements that were hidden and then suggests a layout for them. I don't necessarily like that layout that I just did, so I'm just gonna click back so that I can bring back the layout that I had. But that's a handy tool if, let's say for example, you add many elements to your mobile layout and you just kind of lose track of where all those elements are, then by clicking reorder, it will give you a suggested layout. Another thing to keep in mind is that to display your mobile view, you want to make sure it's enabled. It's gonna be enabled by default when you create your mobile website with webstarts.ai, but if you create a mobile version of your website strictly in webstarts.com, it's actually disabled by default, so you'd have to go in there and enable that mobile view by toggling that switch. 
toggle back over to your desktop version. You can change your pages right up here. So I can go back to the home page where I have this slideshow. And then there's a ton of things that you can add to your site over here. You can add text, content blocks, images, boxes, buttons, photo galleries, slideshows, icons, all kinds of things. You can add a calendar to your website. And then when you're ready to make this all full pro, click on add domain, and then you'll choose a domain name for your site. So for example, if I wanted to say Freedom Honduras project.com I just search for that and then it's available so I click continue and then I just select the plan that I want to use with my website and once I do that and I've paid the domain name will be automatically connected and start resolving right away well that's about it for this video don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and don't forget to visit webstarts.ai for a super easy way to create a mobile version of your website. Thanks for watching.